It's a windy and humid morning here at the Abu Dhabi Tour, and we're very lucky because this is our last chance to take a look at John Dagenkolb's giant TCR before he makes the move to Trek Segafredo for the next three years. Giant's TCR line of bikes really hold an iconic place in road cycling and bike design history. And it's interesting to see Dagenkolb go for the TCR over the more aerodynamic Propel. I think many sprinters nowadays do prefer the aero bikes that their teams or bike sponsors offer. Let's take a look at the build on Dagenkolb's bike, starting right at the top, where he's got a pro turnic saddle with carbon fiber rails. He must run a huge amount of layback because that's slammed right back on the rails on the integrated seat post that's part of the giant TCR frame. As you'd probably expect from a team that was previously co-sponsored or co-title sponsored by Shimano, the build on this bike is Shimano through and through. So Pro are a Shimano subsidiary, which covers the saddle, stem and bars, and bar tape. And the group set is full Shimano Dura-Ace Di2. You've got the Dura-Ace Di2 shifters, satellite sprint shifters for Dagenkov to change gear when he's giving it some in the drops out the saddle. You've got a Dura-Ace Di2 front mech, a Dura-Ace Di2 rear mech, a Dura-Ace chain set, which interestingly, Dagenkov is running 4254 chain rings. So that's quite a lot bigger than many other pros would run. The standard really is 39.53, and it just shows with the 54, when you're in 54.11, how fast Dagenkolb is going to be going in the last few hundred meters of stages here at the Abu Dhabi Tour. Wheels are also supplied by Shimano, and they're Shimano C50. So not the lightest wheels in Shimano's range, but also not the heaviest or the most aerodynamic. They just hit a really good midpoint of good bike handling, not too susceptible to getting blown around in crosswinds, but still aero and very light. Pedals are also Shimano Dura-Ace, as is the cassette and also the chain. Brakes matching with the rest of the group set, the shifting and the wheels are Shimano Dura-Ace. And tires are supplied by Vittoria, and these are the new Vittoria Corsa tubular tires. They've got a skin wall, which I think always looks really cool. They're 25 millimeters wide, and the tread on these is just entirely different to the sort of tires that we're used to seeing. Generally, road bike tubulars have some sort of file tread pattern, but these, I don't know how I'd describe it. I was gonna say line tread, but I think an image will really show you what I mean there. Before we get onto how Dagen Kolb customizes his bike to make it suit him and his bike fit, there are a couple of other components to mention. He has got elite custom race bottle cages and he's running the Pioneer power meter. So it's a double-sided power meter that links up with his Pioneer head unit. Looking at the measurements on Dagen Kolb's bike, let's start with a couple that he didn't choose, which are his tire widths. The Vittoria Corsa tires are marked up as 25 millimeters wide. I think pretty much every pro in the Peloton is running 25 millimeter tires this year. And the rear one comes in at 25.12 millimeters, and the front one comes in at 25.04 millimeters, which just shows that's a tiny variant. So they basically are 25 mil tires that sit perfectly on these Shimano wheels. Dagen Kolb's position is actually quite extreme. So he's got a 14 centimeter stem, which gives a reach of 59 and a half centimeters. And also his hoods sit really very low on the bars, which effectively makes the reach on the hoods even longer than many riders who would have them possibly a centimeter or so higher. His bars are 42 centimeters wide and his saddle height is about 73 centimeters. Finally, he is using 172.5 millimeter cranks. There's something very, very workmanlike about Dagen Kolb's bike. It's just a bike that gets the job done and gets the job done well. And although he hasn't had a chance to race quite as much as he'd like in 2016, following Giant Alpsen's disaster crash, or horror crash rather, back in January, we really do wish him well when he joins Trek next year because he's a fantastic rider to watch when he's back to his best. One interesting thing is when he goes to Trek, he's gonna have the choice of three bikes, the Amanda, the Demane, and the Madone. And if you click right up there, you can vote in our poll and let us know which bike you think Dagen Cole will use. With all that done, this bike is over. Let us know what you think in the comments. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video. And to see more videos, we've got a full Pro Bike playlist right there. We have more videos from the Abu Dhabi Tour down there. And to subscribe to GCN, all you need to do is click on our logo, which is somewhere around here. Finally, do visit our shop. There's a link to that on screen too.